Make sure my phone's off. All set, Lucy? Yep. All right, welcome back to the interview area here at the United States Women's Open Championship presented by ProMedica. We're here with Lucy Lee, who became the youngest qualifier in U.S. Women's Open history back in 2014. So, Lucy, how's it feel back to be back here in the Sand Hills, so close to your memorable week back in 2014? Yeah, it's obviously so great to be back um, and relive all the good memories. Um, it's so funny to run into all these people who are like, oh, I watched you in 2014, and like, oh, you grew up so much. And I was like, well, I hope I have in the last eight years. <laughs> That's great. And you played uh, incredibly well in your qualifier. So how's your game feel coming into this major week? Yeah, I'm feeling good. I've been playing well all year. I've been um, hitting the ball really good. Um, I've been hitting my irons really good, which is, I think, good, really good for this golf course. So hopefully uh, we'll keep going in the right trend. Go ahead, Jonathan. The first question is a hard one. Do you still eat ice cream? <laughs> of course. Who doesn't eat ice cream? Okay. I just, some people like to control their diet and everything. But uh, when you think back to that 2014 week, what's some of those fond memories that you remember most? Um, you know, obviously just being out, be able to be out there and play. And there was a, there were huge crowds out there because we had the back-to-back -back opens. And so, you know, um, just thinking about, um, you know, walking up 18 and also the interview with the ice cream, it's hard to forget that. Over here on your right. Hey, Lucy, um, for players like yourself on the Epson Tour or even on the developmental tours, the purse this week presents this really, really great opportunity, um, both for prestige at the U.S. Open, but to make money to finance yourselves and all that stuff. Tell me what you think about that. Does that put pressure on you? Is it exciting? Um, I think it's very exciting. Um, then I don't think that's something I like to think about when I'm playing. But obviously, for in terms of just women's golf, it's so great to see that the purse has increased so much just in the last two, three years. And so I think that's just really exciting for everyone in the field. And then, if I may have a follow-up on that topic, are you looking forward to this opportunity that you have this year to hopefully make the LPGA Tour? Is that I, I would assume that's a huge goal of yours. Yeah, of course. That's That's been my goal since I've turned pro is to make the LPGA. Does it feel like it's more tangible now than it has been? Um, I think, yes, I've been playing well, but I think it's really important to just take every shot and every week at a time. Thank you. Over here on your left. Thinking back to that Sunday at Pinehurst, watching Michelle throughout that whole round, what was going through your mind back then at that time, watching her and how she ended up winning it? And, you know, how has that progressed in your mind, you know, from up until now in how you play the game and, and how cool it would be to win a U.S. Open. Yeah, you know, um, it was really, really cool experience to be able to go out there on Sunday. And also the week before, I went out and watched the men play. Um, and I think Martin Keimer won by like a ton of shots or something. But yeah, I, you know, at that point, you know, I was watching just as a golf fan. So it was just really cool to be able to be inside the ropes because, you know, I was really short and there's a lot of crowds, I'm sure, if I was outside the ropes, I wouldn't have been able to see anything. But, you know, it was just really good memories to um, think about kind of being able to walk in. I kind of got, was able to walk with, um, you know, the CEO at the time, Mike Davis and Tom O'Toole, and they kind of gave me a little bit of advice. And, like, um, so it was cool to have that inside, you know, access. So Lexi qualified here in 2007 as a 12-year-old. She said that really started her career, got her in this direction. Would you say 2014 really helped get you to where you are right now? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I mean, that's why I'm standing here, I guess, right? Um, you know, it was a big confidence boost for me, but I feel like I've done, you know, a lot in my amateur and pro career since then that's gotten me to this point. But, you know, that's definitely the kind of the jumping board of my, you know, career. Now, as you're playing as a pro, what have you learned over the course of your career, you know, from amateur to pro and where do you feel your game is at and where are you looking to develop and continue to grow as a player? Yeah, I mean, I think what you learn as a junior and amateur and pro, but it just becomes a lot more emphasized as a pro is the importance of being patient. I think that's something you keep learning over and over and over again. Um, but it's just really important to be able to, you know, take each shot at a time and be patient and not try to force anything. Um, and in terms of where my game is, I feel very confident with my, where my game is. But obviously, I'd like to improve, you know, all parts of my game. I think that's part of golf. You're just constantly improving. Over here on your right. And where has your game changed the most since you were here in 2014? 
Well, I mean, I hit it like 50 yards further now. <laughs> so that's probably the biggest thing. But I think all parts of my game have, have improved a lot. And, um, you know, like I said, it's just continuously trying to improve, you know, throughout the years. And, and how does this course kind of contrast to number two? Is it very similar or is it totally different? Um, you know, it's a, another Donald Ross course. So it's kind of similar in the sense that there's a lot of kind of run out areas and false shoulders, false fronts, false backs. Um, but it's not quite as um, intense as number two with around the greens. But it is kind of similar, especially now that they've redone it so that the like around the fairway areas look a lot more similar to Pinehurst. I'm going to do the last two questions over here from Jonathan. It's just one now since Sammy asked that one question. But um, there's 22 players under the age of 20 in this field. What do you see when you're these girls that you played alongside these last couple of years that's sort of a youth movement on the LPGA Tour, even here at the Women's Open? Yeah, it's great to see. Um, I think everyone in my group, uh, tomorrow is going to be really young, and I'm excited to be playing with my friend Rose. Um, but it's just great to see um, that there's so many young girls getting into the game, and I think it's really good for the future. All right. Thanks, Lucy. Thank you very much.